just want to talk about something very quickly. Welcome, everybody. My name is Logan. I'm going to talk a little bit about lying. Uh, people actually study and figure out signs and are able to pinpoint and study facial uh, features, the, the way people move body language to figure out if they're being honest, if they're scared, if they're lying, if they're reluctantly telling something. It's it's out there. There are people very skilled at it, but they're also very... silly people out there. Let me clarify. It's... What bothers me the most is I get it. People lie, right? And I'm not going to say, well, I wish people just didn't lie, whatever. It's it's unrealistic. But what bothers me if somebody gets found out, they stick to that lie. And they're life or death situations, right? Where you have to, if you get found out, you have to stubbornly stick to that lie, no matter what, to do it. And you can't expect somebody, just because they're put in a more moral situation, say they went out, stabbed somebody 87 times, they get found out, their DNA's on a knife, it's found in a dumpster a couple blocks away in a trash can from the victim's house, covered in blood, that belongs to the person, it's, they have to stick to that lie, because if they don't, then they are going to jail forever, and in some uh, cases are facing the death sentence. So, what you have to think about here is you can't expect people, as, as crazy as it sounds, and as terrible as it sounds, morbid, it's unrealistic to expect people to tell the truth in these situations. That doesn't mean I like it anymore, though. I can be the devil's advocate. I can defend it. I can defend people like that. But at the end of the day, I'm just like, if you're made, then just, <laughs> you, you deserve what's coming to you. And even some people get away from what they deserve, which is terrible. It happens. There's always some that get away. But I just, I was sitting here dwelling on that. I was watching. I, I just, I, I don't know why, I just remember bits and pieces from time to time. I was thinking about a video I watched on YouTube a long time ago where this guy was doing a video, and obviously it was one of his most staunch, uh, you know, people trying to get rid of him, whatever. He made a video trying to defame somebody, and this guy was trying to support the person he was defaming, and as he was breaking down the other guy's video, this guy would casually, as I'm looking at, at the screen right now, you know, trying to look at you, the guy would do that. He'd look by, look by his screen. And every time a prompt would come up on screen, read script. Read script. And at a couple points you could see a reflection of the script and this guy I can't remember any of the names I don't know I think it may have been a Woody's Gamer Tag thing I can't remember but uh, you could see the reflection and could see like a piece of paper that he had there with words on it and Obviously, evidence would imply that it was a script. The evidence was all there. You could tell. But, he so staunchly 
defended. No, it wasn't a script. This was all from my heart. I'm just trying to do what people should have been doing a long time ago. It's at that point when you're made, and it's something so little, you could cover that lie with a lie. So, oh, I just, I wanted to make the best video I can, and I didn't want to do very much editing, so I just left the script up there so I didn't jumble my, jumble my thoughts. And, maybe I'm a terrible person because I think this way, but, at that point, I just admit it, dude. Admit it. And it bothers me that somebody could, over little things like that, just lie and put everything that they have, they put all of their focus, all of their being into making that lie a reality for the people they're trying to convince. And it bothers me so bad when people try and do that. Um, and of course, we've we've all had times in our life, one way or another, I think all of us have done it at one point. We've tried to convince, I don't know, maybe a loved one or a parent or whatever, that we didn't do something uh, that we know we did. Maybe you, you know, when you was little, you you went and, uh, I don't know if your dad's weird or whatever, and maybe he collects stamps or something. Maybe you went in there and played with his stamps, whatever, and he found out you didn't put the case back correctly. It's something so small. You didn't actually mess something up, and no, this isn't a personal experience at all. But, it's something so little, may or may not get in trouble, it doesn't really matter. But, the idea of even uh, a day grounding, or uh, your phone gone for a week, whatever, it's little, it's just little things that we as humans do to get out of very small punishments that will not reflect our life at all in the long run. I was just I was thinking on that very uh, out there, and I, you could probably uh, put money on like I'm stoned or something like that right now. I'm not, but uh, crazy, yes, I will admit it. I'm crazy. I will not let anybody ever tell you anything different. Um, but I don't know. Just little things like that get into my mind. Whatever. That's a YouTube video. I think so. I was trying to record a different one with another little thing on my mind earlier. I didn't like it. I lost my train of thought too often, and even though I had some good moments, uh, I ended up scrapping it, but I believe this one is a keeper. So, I want to thank everybody for watching. Once again, my name is Logan, and uh, I, I sincerely hope you'll join me next time. See ya.